Hello and welcome back to my workshop. It's been a busy week here at the Pixel Smith. I've cleaned up the place, it looks a lot better. Um, it was a lot of work. I hate cleaning, hate, hate, hate cleaning, but it needed to be done. Today, we're going to talk about something that is very important when you're beginning to learn how to forge blades. That is managing mass. And what I mean by that is you have a bar of steel and you need to take that bar of steel and you need to turn it into a specific shape. And I'm going to help you to create what you want to create and not just a banana knife. Whoop! Okay, let's get started. So the first mistake that I see a lot of people making is they cut off a tip. And that's not forging a tip, that's, that's cutting off. Um, and, and while that is perfectly acceptable, they follow it up with mistake number two and they start hammering all over here to try to draw out the bevels. And what happens is that Newton's third law comes into play. And what that means is for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. And here's the effect that that has on a blade. When you take a rectangle piece that's been cut like this and you hammer here and here and here and here, those blows push steel somewhere and they push this way. And you will end up with a banana shaped blade. Every single time. And if that's not the blade style you're going for, then you're gonna get frustrated. So, what I'm gonna show you today is how you can actually manage your mass how you can forge this tip instead of cutting it, and how you can, using the proper hammer blows and techniques, create a straight back knife with a drop point that comes down to a nice hang and make a nice, straight, ready to go. doesn't seem like you're making a knife and you've got to sometimes fight the urge to not forge a knife right away but to prep your material prep your stock and set yourself up for success
a nicely squared off rectangular piece for me to start from. Okay, before we forge our tip down, I'd like to take a moment to talk about fish lips. You've all seen what a fish lip is, right? Fish, fish look like this, swimming in the ocean or the sea or the lake, and they have lips. And that's what happens to a lot of people when they go to forge out their tip. And they give up because they get a cold shoot and then they end up cutting. There's a way to avoid this. First off, let's talk about what is probably happening. You're setting your bar on your anvil and you're hammering right here with your hammer and it's smashing down. But as it's smashing here, it's also smashing up here and it creates a divot in the end that continues to close up and is really hard to get rid of once you've started. The problem is in where you're starting your hitch. Don't start at the end where you want your tip. Start before the tip. So that's your anvil. Use a round hammer. You can even do it over the horn. Start bringing your tip down from right there. What, you, what happens is when you squish it right here, it actually bulges out and becomes convex instead of a concave fish lip. Then, as you continue to do the same hammer pattern that way, it will draw out and it will continue to bulge and push out and you will end up with a nice tip. Okay, notice I'm starting back from my tip. See how the end is already starting to bulge. Flipping, I'm moving closer to the end, moving closer to the end, and it's important to work all sides. have our rough tip shape forged and as you can see no fish lips and that's what you want to see when you're forging a tip. Wasn't that easy? No. In this step, what I've done is I've placed the blade over the edge of the anvil on a rounded off spot and I've set my edge bevel. So now I know where my blade is gonna end. And this is where the rest of my work is going to be. I'm gonna spread this a little wider and I'm gonna work on keeping that tip pointed down. There's a little trick I'm gonna show you next. All right, we have our tip. Now it is really tempting at this point to go bam, 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 and curl that thing back like a banana. But remember, we don't wanna do that this time. What do we wanna do? We want to forge a slight drop point. So, how do we make that happen? Okay. Take tip, we have this, boom. What we're going to do is actually bend this down over the horn like a claw. And we're gonna create that shape. And what we're gonna do then is as we forge, boop, 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 up the bevels, it's gonna move this piece right back up to where we wanted. We're gonna use Newton's third law. And we're gonna use action on this side to create an equal and opposite that's gonna push it this way.
that blade is straightening right up. Now we have some more thickness, so once again, I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna bend it over the horn, and I'm going to do that process again. And I work evenly on each side. I try to pay attention to the number of hammer blows that I do on one side and do it on the other. If I work this side this time, I flip it in the forge and I work on th this side the other side. Flip, 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 flip. Remember to stop working when the steel gets too cold. If it drops below red, you're done. It's not hot enough, it's too hard, you're gonna crack your skin. in the edges, making sure that I'm really careful, light blows, you don't roll them, you don't want to roll them, you just want to jam right into it. So at this point, we've got our blade forged out. We have distal taper running from the hilt all the way down to the tip. We've got it, the side profile planished. We have a nice thin edge and we have no banana. We've come to the end of our time today. It's been a great day. Got a little hot for a little bit. I got a little sweaty. Maybe you got a little sweaty, but we had fun getting sweaty. We also forged this fantastic knife. Um, well, we forged a fantastic blade shape, and that's really what we were here to learn how to do, is manage the mass of a bar. How to take a piece of steel and turn it into the knife that we want to forge, not some random thing. We learned how to keep the banana peel from happening. We learned how to forge in distal taper. We learned how to forge edge bevels. And we learned how to control our blade's geometry. And these are all skills that are required of you to have if you want to forge specific knife shapes. You have got to be able to manage mass. And now, go to your shop, practice, and pretty soon, you will be a master 
at managing mass, which is exciting and excellent. And when you make some progress, please feel free to show me some pictures, um, ask me questions, let me know how you're doing. If you enjoyed today's video and you would like to know more or learn more, please feel free to hit me up for lessons. I teach lessons in my shop. I have various different price points and skill levels that I teach. Also, if you enjoyed the video, please hit subscribe. It helps keep the channel going. Um, share the video, tell your friends, come back and watch more. Thanks again.